In this video, I'm going to show you how to place the charcoal canister on this Chevy Silverado 2500. It's located underneath the vehicle right in front of the fuel tank, so let's get started. Let's disconnect the three lines that go onto the charcoal canister, starting with this bottom one. I'm going to hold onto it, try to pull it out. As you can see, this one moves, so that's good. Sometimes they get stuck. It has two tabs that you have to pry outward, one on the bottom. Put some, put some pressure on it as you pry, and another at the top. Once you get those over this lip here, you should be able to pop the hose off. You can see these two tabs right here, and this is what locks it in. Set this aside. The next one is going to be the hose or the line that comes off the fuel tank. It's supposed to have a clip that goes from the top down and it kind of latches over here and here. These locking clips often break because over time they become brittle, but all we are left with is the main locking tab, so this is still able to lock. To disconnect this line, what I'm going to do is take this pick and just press in on the center of this. That spreads the two ears apart, the two ends, with a pry bar, just very gently slide this off. Don't pry too hard. Take this line off. Now we're left with the top one. For this, I'm going to just use some pliers that kind of pinch around the sides. This has two little locking tabs, one on each side. Pinch them. This will unlock it and will allow you to pull the line right off. There we go. A lot of times these lines get stuck because they all have O-rings and the O-rings pretty much seize up on their fittings. There is a 13 millimeter mounting nut right here that I'm going to break free. Now the other side does have a bolt head on it, so I'm going to hold it with a wrench, 13 millimeter in size as well. Let's loosen this up. Remove that bolt and the nut. Now pull this away and it should come right out. And there it is. All we have to do now actually is transfer over this bracket onto the new canister. To transfer this bracket over, all you have to do is twist it, turn it, and it should come off. Let's put it directly onto the new canister. I have them both facing the same way so that I can make sure everything is lined up properly. Let's get this on the truck. On the back of the canister, you'll see some cutouts. Most of them don't actually matter, but what matter are the lower one and the one that is closest to the front of the vehicle. So that's gonna be this one right here and they have to line up with two tabs. If they don't line up, you won't be able to press it in all the way. Okay, slide this in. Let's get those tabs lined up first. Let's get this bolt through. All right, get that bolt poking through. Clamp the nut on. Let's tighten this up. As you tighten this, you'll notice that the bolt end starts spinning. Just hold it with a wrench. Make this nice and snug. The line that comes from the fuel tank will now go on the top. Slide it on until it clicks. There we go. And if you had that lock at the top still, go ahead and put that on. Let's remove this yellow cap. This was for the smaller line. If there's any debris in there, shake it off. Press that on until this clicks and locks in. Lastly, the one at the bottom. Line this up and press it on. There we go. That's locked in. They're all tight. So at this point, we're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.